I'd like to welcome you to this session on Introduction to Management, where I'm going to be talking about sustainability. Now, all the way through the course so far, we have been talking about issues related to ethics, morality, sustainability, and the need for new forms of business and management in the years to come. Over the first decade of this century, there have been numerous incidents that have been brought to the attention of the public and that have raised questions about business and management. These range from the collapse of companies like Enron at the start of the century, through the global financial crisis, which we still feel the effects of today, and to incidents like the collapse of the Deepwater Horizon gas rig in the Gulf of Mexico. These incidents taken together have raised concerns with the public, which have now been brought into consideration of what we teach in business and management studies. And there's been big changes brought about, particularly in Europe and North America, in what business studies focuses on, with a growing realisation that we need to think about the future and what types of business will be sustainable in the future. In the past, the word sustainability has often been taken by people to refer to what you might say as being green issues about environmental sustainability, looking after the planet, looking after the quality of the air or water, etc. But in this course and in our studies, we're talking about the word sustainability in a much broader sense. We're talking about economic, social and ecological sustainability. In this, we're then looking at new forms of business and new designs of businesses that will be sustainable into the future in order to address the needs of society, to enable society and the economy to perform and to continue to perform, but will also address issues of resource depletion, environmental degradation and the ecological concerns that have been uh, the focus of much environmental study over recent decades. So if I start with environmental sustainability, that's widely understood. As I said, we're talking about issues related to pollution of the air, the water, uh, disappearance of rainforests, etc. So we are looking at how we deal with uh, sustainable resources, using less materials, recycling our materials. But if we then look at the other topics of sustainability, say social sustainability, here we're looking at issues around people's employment, their ability to earn, their ability to support their families. And there's been a lot of concern that the way business has moved in recent decades has been towards much more of downsizing, outsourcing, reducing the numbers of people working in organisations with a focus very much on short-term profit maximisation and reducing costs to the organisation. Many people have pointed out that this is not really socially sustainable as organisations have retrenched workers or made them redundant and that people then have lost their ability to earn livelihoods and support families. So the idea of social sustainability is looking at how business operates both to produce profit and return for shareholders, but also to support the communities within which it operates and to give livelihoods to people in these communities. The operation of organisations in terms of economic sustainability then takes economics into this broader sense, both of the, the economics of the organisation and again the areas of profit and return on investment to also look at the impacts in broad society that an economy exists not just to support or to be supported by big businesses but the economy survives around people, their lives, their ability to purchase food, uh, housing, other things to keep their families going. So the idea of economic sustainability is to see that individual businesses sit within a much larger context where they have to be economically viable as part of the macroeconomy of the region in which they operate and the world at large. 